What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of my channel here at Alabang right now. So for today, um, I'm gonna give you some updates on my new bike. But before that, we're gonna go right on ahead to KTM Alabang. Why I'm going? Uh, well, it's pretty obvious, right? You all know that I'm planning to have a new bike. So first in line is KTM so we're gonna stop by at KTM to you know of course to make some bike shopping look at some uh, deals from the dealer <laughs> so one of the options is um, KTM RC390 and Duke 390 I think those two bikes are my potential choices to choose from so as all of you uh, all know the Duke and the RC390 are both expressway legal they're not scooters as you all tried to ask me <laughs> of course I think the prices are all right um, it's uh, a lot uh, cheaper compared to the to the ones coming from Austria because it's not an import bike. Uh, the bikes are actually manufactured here in the Philippines, specifically on their factory at Laguna, which is near our um, near my place. So I'm gonna check out the bike, the RC and the Duke 390. Uh, try to check the deals for the bike and see how it goes. Hang, 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 hang. Let's go. But before we get there, uh, I just want to say that one of the reasons why this is a good bike, you know, the Duke and the RC, is because of its specification, of course. One of the things I like about those bikes is that it has uh, it has inverted forks so unlike the traditional ones their front suspension is uh, more rigid specifically if you're going in a, in a corner or if there's a lot of corners that you go right through it's more rigid stable and durable and compared to the conventional ones and one of the things that I like about that bike is I think that is the first bike that I know that has a uh, ride, ride by wire tech. It means um, the throttle here. So as you can see here, the traditional ones has the cable. Unlike the RC and the Duke, they have uh, sensors instead of cable. So that is one of the good things the bike has. And of course, it has the TFT screen, which is awesome, by the way. The Duke 390 has the TFT screen, uh, the RC390 doesn't have it, which kind of a bummer. Slipper clutch, of course, and both have the single cylinder engine, which for me, I think a single cylinder engine packs more uh, torque, unlike those of the um, two cylinder, but who cares right <laughs> so we're here now at uh, KTM Alabang oh my god if I park my bike here Woo. I just hope they let me wear my helmet while I'm inside otherwise uh, I can't really do a vlog inside it so here we are guys, KTM Alabang They have the 200 Duke and the KTM RC200 as well There inside they have like a 390 other than that I don't know which bike is in there So, so let's go in and check it out I don't know if I'm gonna s stop recording or something <laughs> Okay Okay. Pause it. Uh, how do I fucking get in there? <laughs> how do I get in there? 
Oh, so do I go around here? What? <laughs> how do I get in? Like, how do I get in? How the fuck do I get in? There's a passageway here, man. Come on. Please pass the back of the complex for the eh. This going there. Okay. So I need to go around. Which I think this is kind of a bummer. I get in here? No. Behind the complex. Is it here? You have to fucking turn all the way around. Uh, uh. Ooh. Okay. This sure is a lot of work getting in there. Oof, there it is. Oof. A lot of cars in here. Mm. Great job. Look at the Godzilla in there. Oof. Look, 200. <sighs> Please use the next door, and this is the next door. Alrighty, they got the two, two, no, seven. Alright, so we just got out of KTM Alabang. Dude, they have a sweet deal for the Duke 390 and the RC 390. It's gonna be, oh no, there's gonna be like uh, a good competition here between uh, those bikes and the other dealers that I need to go through. So we're done with KTM Alabang. So next is we're going to Kawasaki. So since I'm here in Alabang area, I'm gonna go through uh, Danghari. Danghari. <laughs> we're going to Danghari. Harry. <laughs> that sounds gay. We're gonna go to Kawasaki. Through Danghari, okay? Uh, Kawasaki branch in Anabu, I think. Anabu Kabite or whatever. So we're gonna head over there and check out two other bikes, which are the Ninja 400 and the Ninja 650. Let's see if they have a better deal compared to KTM. If you're gonna buy uh, the Duke or the RC 390 at KTM Malabang, they're gonna give you a free keychain. A helmet or a jacket 
You need to choose between a helmet or a jacket. But for me, of course, I'm gonna choose a jacket instead of a helmet because I have like four helmets now. So KBM has a good deal. Let's see what Kawasaki has to offer. If you're gonna go out to do a bike shopping, you better do your homework first. You need to make a research for it. You know, uh, as to as to spec wise or to the specification of the bike, especially on. Uh, what type of bike you want to have like if you want a sporty bike or a naked bike or some sort of I don't know whichever specification that you want for that specific bike for me it's either I choose a naked bike or a sports bike At least guys, this will get you closer to what what type of bike that I want to have, right? This down here is like a fast lane. This fucking asshole is trying to race me. Like what the hell? Guys, if you're from Cavite and you're always passing through here on Danghari Danghari on Danghari you better be careful there's a lot of assholes here either cars or bikes alike Woo! yeah boy so what are the clues that I've given you so far? One is it's simple and easy to ride with Expressway legal The third one is It's not gonna be a fucking scooter So just try to eliminate The Yamaha T-Max out of the Out of the scene Too close What the heck? Fucking jackass! This fucking asshole wants to kill me. Uh, ZMY254, you're a fucking asshole. My God! Hurry, come on! Fucking dickhead! When that kind of stuff happens to you It just wanna make you think twice, you know? Cause of course, if you're riding a motorcycle There's a 50% or no, there's a higher chance that you get that you could get killed on a bike There's not much closure that's gonna protect you from from all of this It's just you and your bike. So when whenever there's a fucking accident you have a big chance of really getting fucking hurt So if you're driving a fucking car and you see a fucking motorcycle right in front of you You better make a fucking distance and no, I'm not trying to rant. I'm just saying. I'm just saying for all of y'all who's driving a fucking car and don't give a shit about us motorcyclists. That's what I hate about about people, you know. Those fucking stereotypes who's riding a car and a, and a motorcycle I hate it, but we're gonna talk about that in another day For another topic, okay? So aside from brand wars and stereotypes between cars and motorcycles, well 
That's another topic. My God. Woo. My heart is still fucking pounding. God damn. But anyway, let's just try to chill and get ourselves there safely. I just don't want to deal with fucking asshole drivers. Such losers. Okay. Let's go behind Valentino Rossi right here. Okay guys, don't try to fucking do that, you know, trying to race on public roads. It's not safe. Cargado ka! I don't even... Hey, what's up? <laughs> I don't know what he's smiling about, but... The heck with it, right? <laughs> It's a friendly race, so there's no competition there, and we're both safe. But still guys, don't try to do that, you know. Don't try to race on public roads. It's unsafe. And it's stupid. <laughs> unsafe and stupid, yeah, that's the key word. We're almost there at Kawasaki. I'm not really sure where it is though, but I'm pretty much sure that ah, I'm close. What the heck? I think Kawasaki is right here on the left somewhere where the heck is it anyway it's somewhere here oh there it is Kawasaki there we'll tech gonna head over to Kawasaki and do some inquiring okay let me cross why not dying all right where to park right here no don't fucking kill me Ugh. okay welcome guys here at wiltek anabu anabu kabite I think Anabu is a barangay inside Dasmariñas, Cavite. I don't know. I'm just guessing. <laughs> okay, let's go inside and check the bikes out. Am I recording now? Okay, uh, you know what? The bad thing about motor vlogging is having motor vlogging issues, you know? Like I was talking the shit out of out of the three bikes and guess what? My my GoPro isn't recording. My god! Motor vlogging problems. Uh, but now I think I'm recording. Woo! It's like I've said a lot of stuff about those bikes and it all went down the drain. My god, I have to repeat all the things that I've said. 
So now I'm gonna cut this short and I'm gonna see you guys on the next bike shopping then. <laughs> see ya! Don't wanna be ya!